Corporation case number R period R period tilde 385 tilde 460 tilde 312 colon U period S period. Because the United States and United States of America ceased to exist in their capacity as a corporate entity ending in the year 1999 coming out of a third and final international moratorium of bankruptcy of 70 years stemming from October 29th, 1929, ending in 1999. I have managed to maintain the rules of the continuance of the evidence as legislator, chief hyphen judge, and executioner, as well as commander in chief in the martial hyphen law. And I'm maintaining the rules of the continuance of evidence through the journey of my life, as well as the forensics of where I have been where I have filed and who I am. Today is a sad and a very joyous day. Today is the opening of the quantum banking system. The quantum banking system is the safety net that I've set up for planet Earth, as well as the citizens in the former United States and the United States of America. The safety net deals with quantum grammar and the backstop by hard commodities such as gold, platinum, palladium, silver, rhodium, and other precious metals, as well as rare earth metals that are currently on file and posit within the quantum banking system. Due to the course of many people's choices on a global level, I am stopping and correcting in compliance with Title 42, 1986, knowledge of the contract. On October 4th, 2004, I became Chief Judge at the U.S. Supreme Court. I have maintained the rules of the continuance of evidence through many years, many trials and tribulations that the federal government has placed me through, and they know exactly who I am and what I've done. My last filing as Chief Judge at the U.S. Supreme Court was on January 14th, 2021. Because of the state that the quantum banking system has found itself in, with being flush in gold, flush in different assets that uh, is liquidable for the benefit of mankind. It is very difficult to open that up for people in society for day-to-day -day use at this time due to the condition that the world is in right now. So at this time I'm going to have a special martial law hearing that I'll be posting with Mark hyphen Daniel Colin Seeger and his voyage in registering a global corporation called Seekers as a bounty corporation posited at the Secretary of the Navy's office on April 21st, 2003. R period, R period, till the 385, till the 460, till the 312, colon U period, S period. Martial law hyphen hearing with the publication of a global hyphen bounty corporation that is in file with the Secretary of the Navy's office through a postmaster claimant, life claimant, Mark hyphen Daniel Colin Seeger. How are you doing today, Mark? I'm doing good, man. Doing really good. Uh, Mark, on 4-21-2003, <clears throat> you filed your bounty corporation, which is a, you were a bounty hunter. Uh, catching people that were skipping bail for bail bonds and stuff across the United States, registered in all 50 states. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And it, that in other countries. That in other countries. You're registered as an international bounty corporation to glow, chase people. And you've chased people in other countries. Is that not true? Islands. Went to other islands, yeah. You went to other islands and chased them in islands. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Out of the, out, yep. out of the continental United States. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your bounty co corporation is on file with the Secretary of the Navy's office through uh, corporation number R period, R period, 540-479-963 U.S. Yes. And it was on Correct. And it was on file uh, by you on 4-21-2003. That's correct. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah. Mark, um, the Bounty Corporation has authorization to uh, carry armament, carry um, tools for people to chase people in case uh, you need to secure somebody and hold somebody down, as well as simultaneously firearms to safeguard you, and that's registered through your Bounty Corporation? Yes. Okay. Okay. That is correct. Okay. Um, okay, Mark, thank you. You have been very helpful uh, in this. Uh, publication on this hearing. I needed to clarify some things for the uh, court hyphen position for the martial hyphen law and for the stabilization hyphen force uh, that uh, we do have a bounty corporation on play for the martial law registered through the Secretary of the Navy's office, which authorizes bounty hunters to join the corporation to safeguard the claim of the life uh, citizens for bounty if bounty nice. if bounty yes. was, if bounty was to be posted. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. There'll be no further uh, questions and statements on this matter. Appreciate it. With the forensics of today opening up the quantum banking system and opening it up for the public for the first time use on planet Earth, I am now going to give closure on the quantum banking system. The quantum banking system was established by me in 2001 when I disqualified the Grammar Charter for the Universal Postal Union. I found the Grammar Charter for the Universal Postal Union for all shipping authorizations of banking on planet Earth to be done in ad using adjective pronouns and adverb verbs, which came in violation of Title 18, 1001, 1002 for fictitious grammar. Because I have stopped and corrected in compliance with Title 42, 1986, knowledge of the contract, the Universal Postal Union's ability to collect mail, correspond with anyone, ceased to exist in 2001. They met with me in Bern, Switzerland at the Postal Union to have closure on a face-to-face -face meeting on June 16, 2003, where it was established in a foundation for the Global Hyphen Postal Union and the forensics that have uh, the, the forensics of quantum banking to be established as a fact in the world of fiction. And the Universal Postal Union's ability to communicate ended in 2001. You will see a stamp, a $1 stamp, with the continuance of the evidence of many corporation claim numbers for the quantum banking system. These claim numbers are filed in a variety of places. Places such as the finding of fraudulent grammar at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures, which is a location that governments around the world register their means to create sums and differences, such as communication, the country's ability to navigate mathematical functions, as well as the to measure sums and differences of land boundaries, as well as the disqualification through fictitious grammar of all stock markets on planet Earth, which I am the copyright controller of, through five sealed letters of the credit from five different stock markets around the world. Each stock market around the world in 2005 was presented with, a quantum st with the quantum stock market as well as the quantum hyphen crypto hyphen currencies, which I am the copyright owner of in 2003. On the first page, you will also see the Title IV 101.9 dimension flag, but it has a spire on the top because of the condition of state of martial life and law. The martial hyphen law keeps the quantum banking hyphen system safe because the quantum banking system is a position of neutrality as well as functions for a safety net for the people of the world. However, because of the condition of the state of the world right now, the quantum banking system sits in a condition of state of the martial hyphen law, which I am the commander in chief of. And the laws and rules and regulations sit in the palm of my hand. The Title IV 101.9 dimension flag was registered by my ex-business partner, who is dead, David Eiffelwinkel and Miller, and myself on August 12, 1999, at the United Nations, where we were given country status as corporate functions. But because David passed on and he gave up his right to wield his flag, and the federal government is very aware of that, in November of 2006 in Grand Rapids, Michigan, when he surrendered his his usury corporate structure shareholder of the Global Postal Union in the middle of the courtroom. Thus, from that date, therefore, 
he no longer had authorization to give his copyrights out on the quantum grammar. And the quantum grammar is patented and copyrighted technology by me to make people countable for their actions. At some point in the future, it might be open source technology, but for right now, the quantum grammar and the quantum banking system is patented technology by me, and I hold solitary copyrights, which is filed through the US Supreme Court, as well as the World Court at The Hague. Simultaneously, the flags that you see on the contract on your screen have a marine hyphen core hyphen flag, forward slash spire hyphen standard, a navy hyphen flag, forward slash spire hyphen standard, a navy hyphen seals hyphen flag, forward slash spire hyphen standard, an army hyphen flag hyphen spear, for, uh, forward slash spear hyphen standard, and an air, for, air hyphen force hyphen flag, forward slash flag hyphen span, standard, as well as a special hyphen forces hyphen banner. These flags were held at a duty post by me and conducted during the first initial steps to certify a duty post at the instructions of a former U.S. Navy SEAL who is a muster hyphen on in the martial law. His name is Paul hyphen David Colin Darland. Paul hyphen David Colin Darland was framed by the Central Intelligence No Agency and the adjective adjective pronouns framed him because he no longer wanted to be a mercenary killer for different families around the world and he was hung out to dry by the US military left behind but because he held secrets he holds those secrets and he's in his cell today It is because of him that I had gained the knowledge necessary knowledge to hold a duty post and I held the duty post for about 60 days where a muster roll was taken every morning the flag was hoisted at night with a light on it, 24 hours a day, and it was hoisted again in all day long. The U.S. Marine Corps and a full board colonel showed up in full dress blues to speak with the duty post postmaster that I left at the post. Simultaneously, as the Marine Corps showed up on the post, the National Security Agency, as well as the Department of Defense and the Central No Intelligence No Agency pulled me off the streets to have a conversation about the pecking order and who runs planet Earth. They were certified with my correspondence and they all agreed that I am in charge of planet Earth banking. Although they said good luck keeping it because there's many that are going to try to steal it, which we are seeing rampant on a worldwide level. But because they do not control the technology and do not have copyright release from myself, and David did not have authorization to give it to them, they are fr false and misleading the citizens worldwide. On this day, I'm giving closure on the muster hyphen roll and the flags. Well, these flags, some may say that I have changed the flags into a now space scenario. I did not use United States, I used unity hyphen states. At the time, we were, we were using unity hyphen states because it was a symbol of joinder and a fourfold characteristic of time, title, ownership, and possession of the facts. The flag also represents as a symbol for many military personnel from around the world. Unfortunately for the military personnel around the world, there was a massive betrayal to the honor and covenant, which was the Constitution of the United States as well as the presidency in 1999 when the United States came out of bankruptcy. Before one goes into the military, one must go to the post office first and get his postal registration number and then go into his respective branch of military. However, because the post office did not come forward, the United States Postal Service, and tell the truth to the American soldiers, they then tricked the American soldiers to go into the war in a mass genocide effort put on with knowledge by George Hyphen Walker Colin Bush. I conducted the world's largest court marshalling in the history of planet Earth to stop the Iraqi war and the mass genocide by the American soldiers being tricked and betrayed by George Hyphen Walker Colin Bush to go to war off a fraudulent scam called 9-11. 9-11 was set up to steal the citizens' rights and betray the citizens of this country as well as the soldiers of this country in a distorted twist to create some boogeyman that did not exist, a weapon of mass destruction that was never found, and the people that perpetrated this crime were never held accountable. Well, on this day, things will change. On page two of the contract that is filed for today's opening of the quantum banking system, on the back of the opening page of the quantum banking system, you will see the military hyphen 
postal hyphen service hyphen station. This stamp was placed on file in 2012 with the branches of the Indian Ocean Theater, the Atlantic Ocean Theater, and the Pacific Ocean Theater for tactical command control of the military sea lanes for the muster soldiers and the conscripts that were currently and are currently working within the United States Postal Military. The United States Postal Military is under false guise put on by the guise and fake betrayal of George Typhon Walker Cullenbush and the presidents thereafter to continue a scam to perpetrate false wars, being tricked into surrendering our borders, which we see now. And the reason why they can surrender the borders, which I do not agree with, is because the border ley lines have been disqualified by me. However, I set up a quantum system to, to have transparency. One of the things that most people have forgot about the founding fathers of this country is not necessarily how they got tricked into entering into contract through Benjamin Franklin, who was a triple agent tra trader working for the British Crown and, and as a French Esquire simultaneously, tricking the American government and the colonies to enter into a bankruptcy draft note that he was the, was the co consignmentor of. But Benjamin Franklin and the founding father failed to realize, be cognizant that the reason why the borders were open and the reason why people fled to this country was because of their religious faiths. So we must keep that in mind. The reason why the, that the migration was allowed to come is be, not because it was an open free-for-all, is because that they, they, they were fleeing for because they wanted to love their God. In this case, it was the one they call Yeshua or God or Lord. There are many names for that application. So we must not um, take that out of context as, as we see these borders open. And those of you who are now coming into our, across these lands of the former United States, please keep in mind, not necessarily that the borders are gone, but keep in mind why, the volition of why that was allowed to happen. It was allowed to happen because there were, there were free God-fearing Christians that loved this land. And this was the land of the free and the home of the brave. Unfortunately for the people, they, they have forgotten how to be brave, and they certainly are not free. So because they are being tricked so much by this, by this fraud that is perpetrated here, I have endorsed the back of the opening of the quantum banking system with the martial law uh, postage stamp in the back end for certification endorsement through the quantum banking system that I have set up. In setting up the quantum banking system, I disqualified the charters at the World Bank in Washington, D.C., the, the International Monetary Fund in Washington, D.C., as well as the Federal Reserve in 2003. I met with Bob Frierson on January 15th of 2002, an attorney at the Federal Reserve Building in Washington, D.C. He was very upset about what I had done and because I was treasurer of the contract treasurer of the country. As contract treasurer of the country on that specific day, I walked into the United States um, Treasury Department uh, at the engraving office and commanded them to take down the wrong flag that they were flying and put up the Title IV flag as treasurer of the country. The head of Secret Service was brought in and I did a citizen's custody on all treasury agents in the room. The head of Secret Service came in and told me that it's the corporate policy of the United States government to hire stupid people. That way the people that are in the government on top are not accountable for what the stupid people in the government do to the people. This is a massive betrayal to the American people and it is, it is a shame. The mainstream news does not cover these stories. On the second page of the contract itself, we have a caption. The caption is a, in this specific case that you see on the screen, is a letter of mark authorization for bounty. The bounty is a warrant that is being issued through the martial law, through the commander in chief, through the court martialing case, RR, R period, R period, till the 385, till the 460, till the 312, colon U period S. It is backstopped by bounty from the savings clause hyphen claims counts that are on file worldwide by me as the author, creator, and owner, and solitary shareholder of the quantum banking system. So there is a going to be a bounty that is going to be placed uh, on um, these mass hyphen murderers that are on the loose. And for those, for those of you that uh, are not being cognizant of what's going on out here and find themselves lost in time and space because they've been betrayed massively from the, from the bankruptcy note, which was the Constitution in the United States and the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence, and they're wondering, why, why are we having all these controversies out here? Why is the, are these elections allowed to be so fake? Why, why, why is this just total scam upon the American people? 
The reason why is there are no guidelines to control them. The court systems are a scam because they are shut down. It is merely a harvest location for the people of, of the country and people worldwide. The judicial systems are based off upon your birth certificate system. And the birth certificate system, I, I ended in 2001, so the birth certificate system and those of you that are running around the planet with a birth certificate actually don't have a position. You're derelict. You're, you're walking without papers. You don't actually have a position to state a claim or open your mouths. So with that being said, in the first paragraph, it is a letter of mark for a bounty that um, is being authorized for mass hyphen murders and genocide hyphen performers and genocide hyphen co-conspirators because each of the vessels on the pictures that you will see at the end of this video uh, who are the warrants that the bounty is out for the the bank is now going to bond the corporation that Mark hyphen Daniel Colin Seeger just spoke of and the citizens with claims of the life are going to be allowed to board that vessel at for the Bounty Hyphen Corporation registered at the Secretary of the Navy's office and called Seekers can now then come and collect bounty and capture and bring those vessels to trial. Now I want to give closure on one thing. You do not have to be afraid of the vessels on the paperwork. For the spirit that was in that is within them causing them to create this mass genocide is bound in the heavens. And so it is bound in the heavens, so it is bound on earth with one foot on the sea and one foot on the land, the heavens and the, and, the, and the connection to that spirit, that spiritual court and that spiritual realm, and that spirit that is creating the genocide on this planet, it is bound. It is bound and is being cast off this planet as we speak. And so as the space-time continuum pushes this forward and, and, and we see this manifest through all the, the prophecies and the things that are, that are factually coming to pass, we must comprehend, in America, we are the light of the world. We are the symbol of the freedom. And this is the land of the free and the home of the brave. And so it's time to be brave. It's time to stand up. And it takes much braveness to stand up against these tyrants. I know this for a fact because I am one man with one voice. And it's a voice of correctness. That I have the courage to stand on the convictions of the truth and the correctness. That I do hold the forensic facts as the federal hyphen government. And all the federal contractors that have contracted with the presidents ever since 1999, your contracts are null and void because they, my autograph, my thumbprint, my, my fingerprint is not on the contract to validate the grammar to allow your federal contracts to be valid. Thus, all federal contracts in the United States are null and void. In 2010, I rewrote the constructs worldwide for quays and wharfs and ports for tariffs on a worldwide level to allow import and export goods and cargoes to move, tra be transported across uh, boundary lines on a global level. So the value of words for war crimes are actually in the corporation hyphen case number R period R period tilde 385 tilde 460 tilde 312 colon U period S period, which are on file at every military base in the United States, former United States, as well as each branch of the U.S. Pentagon. For those of you who are concerned about the Nuremberg trials and the genocide that is happening on planet Earth, I am very concerned too, and I have done everything I can to put forth a solution for, to create a juxtaposition to allow the people of the word, world to have a sanctuary position and a safety net to conduct commerce and engage in free venture capitalism, as well as hold those who are creating this uh, meritocracy of fiction to, uh, to self-implode upon itself. What that means is fiction is going to destroy fiction, but fiction will not trespass on the facts. And as I move forward here, and all of you see me be very successful, and the quantum banking system be very successful, as these mass murderers and genocide people and rapists are placed in, in, in public trials by me so that all the world can see the accountability for their actions, and the, I'm comptroller of the comptroller of the global postal life and currencies, it gives me different dynamics on currencies which is on file with the Secretary of the State's office at the Vatican for closure on those terms for those listening to this uh, conversation. Uh, and he that have an ear, let him hear, let him hark on these words. And in paragraph zero is the commission and the bounty claim for the capius, which is a body attachment on the vessels and you'll be a witness on the paperwork that I've identified each vessel all in capital letters. Why is that? Because they don't 
have ability to be upper and lower case. They don't have the ability to think anymore because all of these vessels on here are derelict. They all have birth certificates, which means they can't open their mouths to state a claim. Their ability to state a claim against you ceased in 1999 and 2001 for some of these global, global characters when I disqualified the International um, um, Universal Postal Union in Bern, Switzerland, disqualifying the birth certificate on a global level. In paragraph one, on page three, it shows the bounty seekers authorization and what tools they can use to capture and go after to transport these, these vessels, these KPS vessels and their blood back to me so I can hold them on trial for the genocide that they've committed. Also, one of the duties of the bounty seekers is we're gonna try to keep the blood flowing in these vessels that you, ca that you capture. I do comprehend that things happen in battles, you know, an eye gets dotted, you know, somebody, somebody, you, you ha somebody resists and yet, you know, you have to put the smash on them and maybe bloody them up a little bit. If you have to fight to capture some of these people, try to keep them alive, try to keep the blood flowing within them, very important. But I do comprehend that fights happen, people do stand, try to stand their ground, you know, if you have to bloody somebody's nose, make sure you, you stop the blood before you bring them to trial. In paragraph two, these are the fees that will be handed out for those who enter into the quantum banking system, who capture and transport um, the vessels that, that, are, that need to be captured, and their picture likeness will be at the end of this video. And it will be done through the letter of mark and capture uh, for the vessel's blood. So, so we, we bring the, the vessel with all their blood intact to the trial. So keep the blood circulating, please. On the next page, on paragraph three, it is the authorizations and credentialings for those who join the bounty seekers and join the cor corporations on the bills laid at the Secretary of the Navy's office. Upon joining that and entering into private contract with the letter of mark that will be issued to you by me, it will give you immunity from prosecution as you capture and transport vessels in the martial law because the quantum banking system controls planet Earth now. For the next couple pages, there will be word terms. Word terms are bound to the contract and the words being used for definition, for closure, for anyone who engages in contract to join the bounty hyphen seekers and the letters of marks to go capture these vessels, uses these word terms and no outside words can be used by an outside entity to try to define what you're doing. So it's nice to have the word closure on the vessel so that you can't be stopped and nobody can engage in subjective interpretation or parallel construction on what you are doing. After the word terms, you come to paragraph four. And in paragraph four, these are the filing locations of the quantum banking system and the charters at different times and spaces by me since 2001. But if you wanna join the banking system, the quantum bounty system, you want to first get a claim of the line. Without a claim of the life, I cannot, you cannot enter into the quantum banking safety net that has been set up by me on a global meritocracy on planet Earth. If you want to be a bounty hyphen seeker on this contract and capture the vessels that there are KPSs on this contract, you must get a claim of the life at fortheclaimofthelife.com. Upon getting the claim of the life, you then will email me a copy of your claim of the life into the email on that page. Then I will correspond back with you and give you your letter of the mark for you and your team to go capture the vessels and then get your bounty at the trial that we will hold for the martial law trials against these vessels who are creating mass hyphen genocide or genocide co-conspirators or pedophile hyphen rapist or genocide hyphen performers. And their pictures are on this vessel contract. And please take note that as this contract thrives, and as bounty seekers capture these, these performers that have created this mass genocide and bring them to my court, the martial law court, at that point, I will then open up more vessels to go after that is, have created havoc and harm towards the citizens of planet Earth, have engaged in human trafficking, have engaged in genocide war efforts, and tricked the people of the world through this fraudulent grammar birth certificate system that they have perpetrated the lies and lockdowns on. Paragraph five deals with a, with a different style of bounty seeker. 
The style of bounty seeker that it deals with is someone that I have may or may have not court-martialed in the past. So if you were an active member in the Pentagon and you found yourself in one of the 5,000 musters and Vassalis that were sued under AWOL charges and you didn't show up to trial in, at the Washington Mall, which was published at all military branches every 45 days for about three years. And so there's a massive amount of footage on the trial itself because the Pentagon had 20 video cameras on me at the, pen, at the trial, at the trial location at all times, as well as Chinook and Apache helicopters above my heads with cameras out filming the, the trials. If you were sued as a vessel at those trials and you want to stop and correct, you have the right to stop and correct and join the quantum banking system. In doing so, this, there will be a pardon checklist that will come into play for amnesty for those that have engaged uh, with me in the court marshalling and and have, have knowledge of it but made a choice at the time not to commit and not to join with it for, for whatever reason. So this paragraph 5 deals with you if you want to come forward and get a pardon from me for from the, from the court marshalling that happened back in 2004 through 2008 specifically at the Washington Mall in Washington DC you can then come forward and we can go have a face-to-face -face meeting and, and solve and bring solutions for you helping the global bounty seekers achieve this mass global hyphen roundup. As a further note, above paragraph 5 talks about the global hyphen mercenaries with cosmic hyphen crown colon 1, cosmic hyphen crown colon 2, and cosmic hyphen crown colon 3. For those of you in the Central Intelligence Agency that I have sat down with specifically in my labs in 2007, 2008 in Mapleton, Utah, you know specifically on what the Papal Bulls commanded of the mercenaries to perform. To perform the compliance of the correct communication parsing syntax grammar and comply with the quantum banking system as it changes the structure and brings accountability to planet Earth. So on a side note, please go back and read your Papal Bulls, which were on file at the Secretary of the State's office at the Vatican in 2007-2008, as well as the Vatican City Bank. The mass hyphen murderers, genocide hyphen performers, and war criminals. If you were on this paperwork, you earned it. These vessels that I see, these derelict vessels and their birth certificates, with no capacity to state a claim, I'm not really after them. I'm after the spirit that's within them that caused them to make the choice to create harm against the, my fellow mankind. Why did you make that choice? Why did you make a choice to betray the American people? Why did you make the choice to trick the people of the world or suppress the people of the world or engage in transhumanist mechanics? You are not God. God is God, the Yeshua, the Creator. The quantum banking system is not really even mine because I dedicate this system to the heavens, to the Creator, to God to keep me safe. I am not afraid of anybody that I see a picture up here and nor will my bounty seekers be afraid of any of you. We know the spirit that is within you is bound in the heavens. It is no longer welcome on the earth and we are casting you out of this earth with one foot on the sea and one foot on the land. You will be brought to trial and we will look at the spirit within you. Bounty hyphen seekers, once you capture the vessels that are on the picture and you bring them to trial, you should know that they're going to have a fair trial and their volition of thinking will be placed on trial. We will preset their facts, pre-position set the facts of their performances to take a look inside their mind on why they committed these performances. At that point, then judgments can be dealt out. But when we get them to trial, at that point, bounties will be handed out. Now we may in certain circumstances, because some of the, the bad actors and, and mass murderers on this list, maybe we have to adjust the bounty that is on, that is on the capius of the body attachment. Please comprehend, you're just capturing the vessel they don't have the ability to create thought to tell you no because they don't have a, they don't have a claim of the life. 
that bounties can be adjusted and are negotiable through the quantum banking system. Now I'd like to talk to the citizens of planet Earth, formerly the, and the citizens of the former United States and United States of America. This country was bound on the foundation and principles of God, simultaneously the foundation and principles of the land of the free and the home of the brave. It is time for the citizens to nut up, to stand up for themselves and stand up for those who do not have the capacity to stand up for themselves. We must be good shepherds. We must take care of the weak. How we do that and how we open up the quantum banking system to have much more functions and benefits for mankind as we must first take care of the genocide that is being perpetrated by the vessels on this paperwork. Please comprehend bounty seekers and citizens of the world. There are other pictures and other vessels that probably need capture. But for right now, this is the starting point. I am Postmaster-General Colin Russell-J Colin Gould, creator, owner, and shareholder of the Quantum Banking System. And now we are open for the clear business. Thank you very much. Godspeed. And God bless you all.